May I help you? Oh, uh, is Ralph there? One moment, please. Hey, Henry. Hey, Ralph. What's up? Maths test. How's the Henry Goose Line Calculometer coming on? It's not. Oh, OK. See you tomorrow. OK, see you, Henry. <sighs> You're lucky, Fluffy. You don't have to do maths. You're a cat. Henry! Soggington, how did you get on? Mission accomplished, Miss Oddborder. Well done, Mr. Soggington. Hiding them in the toilet, then asking for a toilet break in the middle of your test. <laughs> oldest trick in the book. Oh, oldest trick in the book. <laughs> did you get that, Miss Oddbot? Oldest trick? Yes, Mr. Soggington. Oh, bring them to my office. Yes, Miss Oddbot. We'll just have to try something else. Go on then, try it. Oh, what is that smell? It is very smelly. It's a smelly smell. Yeah, smelly smell. Yes, thank you, Susan. It's Henry. Oh, it's no good. I can't read my own writing. Not sure the shoes are gonna work, Henry. Time to try my secret weapon, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if I were to ask you what three plus two equals, what would the answer be? Yes, Margaret? The answer would be five, miss. Well done, Margaret. <laughs> and if I were to ask you what three plus three to the power of prime number 17 divided by the covalent of 24 was... What are you doing here? Stepping out of the shadows. Oh, what is it with you lot? You've all been watching too many movies. Whatever. I'm here to make sure that you do what you're being asked to do. Oh, yeah? And how are you going to do that? By mocking you and saying that you're too much of a scaredy cat to go on too cool for school anyhow. Oh, I am not. <laughs> Works every time. <sighs> oh, you've got your cuddly toy, Henry. Him. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right, then. What do I have to do? Park Keeper's Hut, seven o'clock sharp. Well, that's supper time. Seven o'clock in the morning, Henry. The morning? Hang on. Who says I want him back, anyhow? <laughs> Guess we better get some sleep. Ding, ding, ding. 
<laughs> nice one, Henry. Who are you? I am the Fear Phantom. The real Fear Phantom? The real Fear Phantom. Have you got the worm? The worm? Yes, the worm. What is this worm of whom you speak? The worm, you know, Peter. Perfect Peter. The one with the red jumper and lots of curls and the annoying laugh. The, the one who eats all the sweet tweets, even though he pretends he doesn't like them. I like sweet tweets. Do you? Which ones do you like best? The green ones or the blue ones? Actually, I like a bit of both. <laughs> Me too. Princess. I, I, I mean, my pearl. Look! It's not pink enough! It's quite pink sweetness. But not pink enough. Get rid of it. But I, uh, Margaret? What do you mean you can't get another one? Well, you see, precious plum cake, they don't have any more pink ones in stock. It seems that the pink ones are the most popular, and so... Yeah. The law of supply and demand and online ordering being one step ahead of the retail stock. Well, to be fair, I didn't actually order it online. What? You didn't order it online? Well, there you go then. If you didn't order it online, then you wouldn't have been one step ahead of the curve, would you? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, get you, Go away. Feeling pretty stupid, huh? I said go away. You know, it doesn't have to be like this. If you don't go away right now, I'm going to tell on you. All right, all right, don't shout my ears off. That's my line. It's quite a good one. I know. I can show you how to be horrid, you know. What do you mean? I can show you how to be horrid. It's not that difficult. Rolling your eyebrows isn't horrid. Look, Mr Snuck for Brains, if you think for one minute... <coughs> if you think for one minute that I can't hear you, young lady, you've got another thing coming. Please, sir. What is it, you horrid boy? Miss Lovely said, could you please give her a hand with sorting out the Good as Gold Stars cupboard? 
but she said it's a terrible mess and... Yes, all right. Uh, I heard you. Hmm, yes, well then. Carry on as you were till I get back. Yes, sir. That was horrid. <laughs> yep, and there's more where that came from. I know there is. Would you like me to show you how? What do you think, slug snot? You see? That's a perfect example. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If you want to be really horrid, then you've got to learn to sometimes not be horrid. Yeah. You what? Time for the serious stuff. So you feel like being horrid? Horrid's what you want to be! Well, get on with it! Not bossy or mean or moody. Horrid just like me. Yeah, you feel like being horrid. Horrid's what you want to be. Not bossy or mean or moody. Horrid just like me. Yes, I feel like being horrid. Horrid's what I want. Go first. Go on, be horrid. Uh, I can't. What else is on your list, Henry? Hmm, let me see. I'm going to say... Snot bags. <coughs> Go on, touch it. No, it's gross. But it's meant to be gross. You just don't get it, do you? Some things are meant to be gross and some things are meant to be... Lovely and fluffy and nice. Well, yeah, I suppose so. Like my happy hippos. Do you like my drawing, Henry? Not bad, Worm. I suppose they've all got names. Oh, yes. This one's Buttercup. Beefy Buttercup. And this one's Sunbeam. Silly Sunbeam. And this one's... Yeah, yeah, I get it. But do they have to be so happy all the time? Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. That's what they all say. That's on my list too, saying things. I love saying things like gross and purple hang gang rules and out of my way, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. I hear that one all the time. And N-O spells no. And... Mum, Henry's being horrid. I know, sweetie bun. Oh, Henry, can I say one of mine? One of your what, smelly nappy baby? That's another one. Oh, I'll get you, Henry. That's one of Moody Margaret's. Or old snot slime bogey brain beetle bonds, as I like to call her. Goodness is its own reward, Henry. What's that supposed to mean? You should try being more like your brother, Henry. <laughs> yeah, like that's going to happen. When I'm king... <laughs> oh, there's another one. I'm going to make a rule that little brothers everywhere will have to ask permission to speak. <laughs> Permission to speak, Lord High Majesty. Permission to speak, Lord High Majesty and leader of the Purple Hand Gang. Permission to speak, most esteemed and gracious Lord High Majesty and leader of the Purple Hand Gang. On second thought, perhaps that's not such a good idea. Another thing on my list is moving around. As you all know by now, I love to toot scoot. Toot toot! Mum always says I shouldn't be on my wheels in the house, but I don't see why not. Whoa! Look out for me! <laughs> Fluffy is most definitely not on my top ten things list. The only four-legged creature on my list is Fang. He's the best horrid hamster ever! Yeah, yeah. Please, sir? Yes? 
101 who isn't really here. Would you like it in single spacing or double spacing? Uh, uh, single spacing or double spacing what? I'll do it in triple spacing, shall I? Uh, yes, do it in triple spacing. You can all do it in triple spacing. Oh. That was pretty random, wasn't it? Yeah, just like a teacher, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I'm so hungry I could eat a plate of stew. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Class dismissed. It ain't over till the moody lady sings. <laughs> These boys are our colleagues for today, and that was a little bit of a rude thing to do, wasn't it now? Oh, uh, sorry, Miss Oddbod. I uh, just wanted to give them some space. Well, in that case, thank you, Sidmouth. I'm sure they will appreciate the space you've given them, won't you, boys? I said, won't you, boys? Uh, uh, yes, Miss Oddbod. Thank you, sir. I mean, Sidmouth, for giving us some space. It's uh, my pleasure, you red boys. I mean, uh, Henry and Ralph. Good. Well, then, now we've got the introductions out of the way, tell me how this morning went. You think you're so clever, horrid Henry, but you're not. And as for you, rude Ralph... <laughs> Cool. Do you think this is a good idea, Margaret? Well, obviously I think it's a good idea, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. Well, technically you're correct, but... Do you want to learn something today, Brian, or not? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, get you, Henry! Yeah, yeah. You call to me, Lord High Majesty. How much do you know, Worm? Oh, uh, well, what do you mean, Henry? How much do you know? You can tell me. I'm your big brother. <sighs> well, I know I've got a lot to learn from you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hang on a minute. Did you say you had a lot to learn from me? Yes, I did. Well, I suppose you've got to learn that you're a smelly nappy baby. Yes, Henry, I am a smelly nappy baby. You're a quick learner. You can leave now. Your wish is my command, leader of the Purple Hand Gang and Lord High Majesty. Where are you going? You said I could leave. Right. Only I need to know where you're going now. Oh, I've got a meeting of the Best Boys Club. Do you want to join us? No. I mean, yes. I mean, maybe. Ooh, goody! I'll go and tell the others and we can get the paper doilies out. We only get the paper doilies out for very special visitors. Uh, right. <laughs> They don't look like evil masterminds. Evil masterminds never do look like evil masterminds. Well, sometimes they do. The evil guardian looks like an evil mastermind. Let's ask him then. We've got all the doilies out, Henry. Peter, are you an evil mastermind? 
<laughs> no, no, at least I don't think I am. It's not him. Are you still coming to the best boys meeting, Henry? <laughs> Anywhere. It's not Peter. What about the rest of the best boys? I don't think so. They're too obsessed with paper doilies to be doing any evil masterminding. <laughs> Please, Miss Battleax. What is it, Margaret? Do you think I'm clever, Miss Battleax? You think you're clever, Margaret. <laughs> but I don't think you're as clever as you think you are. That's what you think, Miss B. I have to go and do something important. So you lot sit tight and I'll be uh, back in a rolly moo. You sure about this evil mastermind thing? She could have just gone to powder her nose. Shush! I'm concentrating. On what? On where Miss Battleaxe has gone. I feel like such a fool going into school with a song in my heart. I'd much rather fart. I wonder if the others are feeling the same. I think it's all the worm's fault. He should take the blame. Gotcha, Henry. <sighs> You're normal. Thank heavens. You're normal. Hooray! Round five and sixes and sevens. I'm having a terrible day. It all started with Mum when she came in the door. She didn't even notice the clothes on the floor. She just opened her mouth and she started to sing. Honestly, Ralph, it was a terrible thing. Henry, she's your mother. She's not like any other. One day you'll understand and... You're doing it too. You're just like the rest. You're crazy. You're mad. Perhaps this is a test. If I can do it, but do what and why? And why put me through it? Come on, Henry, now we're going to be late. And you know how Miss B gets into a state. <laughs> I'm really quite clever. At least I was once that was before I started teaching this horrible bunch. I once was a girl with a cute little curl. I had dreams, I had ambition. And now it's just a war of attrition. These children, these monsters so badly behaved. These children should really be properly enslaved. Wait! You talking to me? You insolent boy! You talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you! The girl with the curl! If you were once young, then you'd know how it feels To be locked up in here, to be frozen with fear To learn next to nothing All that huffing and puffing It's really not fair We're going nowhere Just look at my hair We should be set free! We as a bird! Just cos we're kids, we should still be heard. Cool or not cool? Like, am I still at school? You think you're so smart, you think you are it. Well, that's not the case, so sad! No, no, little boy, for all your pretension, there's something about you. But it's still time for detention. <laughs> Henry, don't go! Don't leave us behind! You too, Ralph. If you don't mind. Detention again. I'm sorry, Henry, what a pain. It's all right, Ralph. I really don't mind. In my office, if you would be so kind. Stations, everyone. There's not a moment to lose. Welcome to Team Henry. Team Henry? <laughs> I'm liking that. You're not gonna like this next bit, Henry. First up, Brian for maths. Maths? Second up, Al for top to toe conditioning. Conditioning? What's that when it's at home? It's just a bit of footballing, right? Don't worry. 
body maintenance with Grinda. <gasps> She's only going to comb your hair, Snot Slime. Graham, you're in charge of snacks. <laughs> Margaret, you're... I know what I'm doing, thank you very much. Uh, right. Everyone else is here to support Henry every inch of the way. Yeah! <laughs> you sure it was my name that came up on the computer? Ready for a spot of maths, Henry? No! For a good cause. And that cause is. Don't think Miss Oddbot told us that bit. <coughs> well, this is it, old friend. You can do it, Henry. Yeah, I can do it. And Ralph? Yeah? Thanks. Go get him, Henry. <laughs> to the final round! <sighs> and what's the final round? All round, Mr Nice Guy. I'll deal with this one. But like I said, Henry, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, how are you going to make horrid Henry Mr Nice Guy? By being horrid! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo hoo! <laughs> I'll get you, Brain can't play like that. No way, Henry. She could never be as good as you. Kitchy name, though. What do you mean? Zero on bits. It's cool. Ow. Not cool? No, not cool, Al. Sounds too much like zero zombies for starters. <sighs> well, now I've got detention tomorrow afternoon. Did you say tomorrow afternoon, Henry? Yeah, but... But the gig's tomorrow afternoon, Henry. The gig's tomorrow afternoon. The gig's tomorrow afternoon! Oh, I knew there was a reason not to get detention tomorrow afternoon. What are we going to do? I don't know. Not cool, Henry. Don't worry, Henry. We'll think of something. We always do. Eureka! That's it! That's what, Henry? Goldfish! That's what? Goldfish, that's what, Henry? Just goldfish, Ralph. Goldfish are the answer. Now then, as you know, detention is something to be taken very seriously. What is it, Henry? Sir, I understand you are the president of the Royal Goldfish Society. Why, yes, uh, as a matter of fact, I am. So you might be interested in this, sir. <laughs> Nothing. You might like to try page 364, sir. There's a really good article on how to teach a goldfish to dance. Sir? Get on with your detention, you worried boy. Henry. I'm telling on you, Henry. Unless 
You teach me to play air guitar. What? You said you could play air guitar. Well, I can't. Not really. So show me how or else. <sighs> All right, then. You start like this. How do I get myself into situations like this? <sighs> Not you two again. What have you done now? Please, miss! It's not fair, miss! You'd better come in. <laughs> so, <gasps> ladies first, I think. Yes! He won't add me, Miss Oddbod. He won't what, Margaret? Add me to his contacts. His contacts? On his phone, he won't add me. I see, I think. What do you have to say to that, Henry? Why would I want to add a bogey brain like her? You see? Who does he think he is? Not a bogey brain like you, obviously. Who are you calling bogey brain, bogey brain? You may go now, Henry. That's right, off you go. I think I'll be keeping this, though. Margaret, a word, please. Margaret, why would you want him to add you to his contacts? Well, that's obvious, isn't it? Is it? Well, yes. I mean, I'm the most important person in this school and that means everyone should want to add me. Uh, thank you, Margaret. You may go now. You can add me to your contacts too if you want to, Miss Oddbod. Hello, Miss Oddbod. So, Henry, no more mobile phone, eh? You think you're such a clever bogey brain. Well, turns out I am a clever bogey brain, bogey brain. Of course, you, being such a bogey brain, won't have a second phone, will you? I said... I heard what you said. Well? Well, what? Well, have you got a second phone or not? Of course I have. Yeah, sure you have. Don't forget to bring your second phone in tomorrow, bogey brain. Why was she talking about a second phone, Henry? Search me. Can I have my phone back, Henry? Um, can I keep it till tomorrow? I want to finish level 42. OK, uh, I've got another one at home anyway. Oh, cool. Hey, bet you're wondering if I'd come up with some sort of a plan. Well, yeah, I have. Come up with some sort of a plan, that is. We'll just have to see if it works. Why is it always me? Because, Henry. Ah, oh, there you are. You haven't seen the computer screeny thingy? Uh, no. Gotta rush. Busy day today. Bye. Yes, Mum? What's this? It's the computer screeny thing you were looking for. I know that. What's it doing here? How should I know? Maybe Fluffy was using it. Oh, don't be horrid, Henry. Oh, here we go again. Henry gets the blame. Oh. Henry! Are you ready for bed yet? I'm ready for bed, Mum. Henry! It's bedtime. I'm in bed, Mum. Good night, Peter. Good night, Mum. Good night, Dad. Good night, Peter. Good night, Henry. Good night, Mum. Don't be hurried, Henry!
You've done it again, Henry. What? I'm a lady. I know you are. It's not working. I want to look at the I'm a lady website and it's not working. Oh, do you remember that I explained to you that it won't work if the battery runs out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo <-hoo! laughs> I'll get you, Henry! Henry! What did you do that for? I need to speak with you, Lord High Majesty. We need to talk passwords. Well, do we have to do this now, Worm? Well, the sooner we have everything written down, the sooner we can be certain that... Yeah, yeah, all right, I know. The sooner we can be certain that the purple hang gang's safe from any bogey brains that might want to have a go at it. Well, that's not exactly how I was going to put it, but yes. All right then, Worm, what do you want me to do? Why don't you take a seat over here, and then you can fill in the form I've made. <laughs> Finished, Worm. Your snot bag, Lord High Majesty. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Worm. <laughs> Lord High Majesty? What is it, Worm? Do you think we could drop the worm bit now? No. Worm. Of course, Lord High Majesty. I just thought I'd ask. Come on, Henry. Let's have a go. <laughs> Sounds like your chief secretary, Henry. <laughs> Sounds like Peter. Exactly. What's going on, Henry? What's going on, Worm? <clears throat> chief secretary, reporting for duty, Lord High Majesty. What are you talking about? Were you having a meeting with the Purple Hand Gang, aren't you? Yes, but what's it got to do with you? We need to make sure that all meetings from now on are minuted properly. That way, you're protected if... All right, all right, you better come in. Peter, at a Purple Hand Gang meeting? Hmm, there's definitely something going on. Susan! Here. Same old story. If you want a job doing, do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs>